a lot of people do not know that there's a company in uh, New York. Uh, there's a company called Depository Trust Company. The Depository Trust Company. It's just a little, uh, it's just a building in New York on, uh, let's see, it's on Wa Water Street, W-A-T-E-R, Water Street, 55 Water Street in New York City. This is a classic example of the kind of thing I'm talking about. People talk about banks and, and uh, financial institutions, but there's a place called the T Depository Trust Company. It's in New York City. It's very, it's not very impressive building. And it's just a, it's just a company. But what, what most people do not know about Depository Trust Company is it's one of the largest private banking, um, trust companies in the world. They have $19 trillion, uh, behind them. And let's see, I'm reading right now, it said the Depository Trust Company is the world's largest security depository holding nearly 19 trillion in assets for its participants and its uh, customers. Last year, the De Depository Trust Company possessed over 164 million book entries and deliveries valued at more than $77 trillion. How many people know that there's just a little company in New York called the Depository Trust Company that has been doing business over $77 trillion? And who are these people that control that kind of flow of money and wealth? Who are they? Who started it? Well, the next question you've got to ask is who in the world started the Federal Reserve and the Internal Revenue? Where did that come from? Uh, a lot of people do not know that the Federal Reserve that prints your so-called money uh, and the Internal Revenue, which is the uh, collection agency connected to the Federal Reserve, the Internal Revenue and the Federal Reserve, their headquarters, the headquarters for both of those corporations is in uh, Puerto Rico, not in America and not in the uh the United States of America is in Puerto Rico. Federal Reserve, Internal Revenue. Why Puerto Rico? Well, it has to do with pirates of the Caribbean. And Puerto Rico was picked a long time ago, many centuries ago, by the, para, by the pirates to be a home base for piratry in the Caribbean. And this is why ABC... And Disney makes a movie with, uh, you know, the uh, very talented young actor, um, what was it called? The Pirates of the Caribbean. But when you look, when you watch the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, never realizing for a moment that the, that the movie Pirates of the Caribbean has to do with the, um, with the actual pirates who actually were in the Caribbean. And those pirates of the Caribbean became known today as the uh, international bankers of today. The pirates of the Caribbean later became known as the British banking fraternities, the American banking fraternities out of New York, uh, Morgan Guarantee Trust, City National Bank. All of the great banking institutions were founded by the Knights Templars are the pirates of the Caribbean. And, to, and it's so easy to show the connections between ABC television and Disney studios, one and the same, ABC is Disney, Disney owns ABC, uh, and ABC Disney created Pirates of the Caribbean, but they've also created many other movies that are telling you things. One of the most incredibly subversive uh, motion picture op operations today in America is ABC Disney. They are involved in all kinds of dark stuff that will blow your mind when you find out what, what they are involved in. ABC and Disney Studios. Walt Disney would probably turn over in his grave if he saw what's happened to his studio. Uh, 